85 million years ago. Dinosaurs dominate the landscape. What land there is for most of the planet is covered by water. These vast ocean are a cauldron of violence, a world much more dangerous than the land above. This is the brutal world where an ultimate predator is born and bred. This mosasaur was the most dangerous creature in the most dangerous ocean ever. It's 45 feet long. It's the size of a greyhound bus. Now a monster is resurrected inside a laboratory, and its killing secrets reveal. This is a mosasaur, and this is a mega beast. This is Mosasaur country. At least it was. Where I'm standing would have been the bottom of the Western Interior Sea about 85 million years ago. Mike Everhart is one of the world's leading experts on Mosasaurs. The horizon would have been ocean for as far as you could see. But the sea waves stretched for hundreds of miles from where we're standing at this time. The climate is warmer, so there are no polar ice caps. Sea levels rise until well over 80% of the planet is covered with ocean. The center of North America was covered with water from Nevada to Missouri, from the Gulf of Mexico on up past the Arctic Circle. The floor of this ocean, known today as the Kansas Chalk, was created by billions and billions of nano-fossils, the shells of tiny plankton that drifted down and were deposited on the seabed. What we're looking at here is literally hundreds of thousands of years of deposition on the sea bottom of the western interior sea. What we see back here is roughly an inch per 700 years to build up that much chalk. So there's untold billions of these animals there. And entombed in this chalk are giant fossils of mosasaur, in the late 1830s, the bones of the beast are first uncovered in North America. This is where the mystery of the Mosasaur begins, because nobody can say just what this creature is. It is a question that first arises when a massive skull is found near the Mose River in Holland. First guy who looked at it thought it was part of a fossil whale. It was also thought to be the jaws of a crocodile, a giant lizard. And one person even suggested it was a dragon slain by a medieval knight. A French paleontologist described it as a mosasaur, meaning Mose River reptile. Eventually, the American bones are matched up with the earlier fossil find in Europe and correctly identified as a mosasaur. Over the next 80 years, as scientists begin the serious hunt for dinosaur fossils, a pattern emerges. In every corner of the globe, they find mosasaur bones. This points to one conclusion no other predator has ever dominated the planet like the mosasaur. This guy weighed 8 tons. It could easily swallow a full-grown human male whole, just like a tater tot. Scientists investigating mosasaurus realized that nothing on Earth could have stopped them. It took a cosmic catastrophe to end their reign. The as scientists explore Moses or evolution, their investigation yields a startling revelation. The ocean's top predator came from the land. These sea monsters began their journey as tiny lizards at the mercy of giant dinosaurs. How they became colossal mosasaurs remains a mystery until 1989 when a fossil hunter named Van Turner finds a very unusual skeleton. Turner takes the fossil to Mike Polson, a paleontologist at Southern Methodist University. When Van came across the first pieces of Dallasaurus he immediately recognized it as some sort of mosasaur named Dallasaurus. After its discovery in Dallas, Texas, the bones were pieced together. Then scientists connect the dots. Dallasaurus is an interim form, a missing link between mosasaurs and the tiny terrestrial lizards that are their ancestors. The lizards, dubbed Egalosaurs, face a constant threat from the larger, fiercer dinosaurs. They flee to the ocean. Three million years later, they evolve into Dilosaurus. 
Their toes evolve into webbed feet so they can no longer function on land. In the span of 6 million years they grow from a small 3-foot lizard into the giant 50-foot mosasaur. The mosasaur's development demonstrates that even in evolution timing is everything. Warm temperatures and shallow seas create an abundant food chain in the ocean this is a perfect environment for animals to take to the water. But these life-giving seeds can quickly turn deadly. Even for mosasaurs, the competition is everywhere. Everything in the oceans then would have looked very strange to us today. All the fish seemed to have been armed with mouthfuls of teeth. It seemed like everything in that ocean was a predator and just built for killing. Things like Zephactinus, a bony fish that is armed with a mouth full of long needle-like teeth. The plesiosaurs are marine reptiles and top predators for over 100 million years. They come in two lethal varieties. One deals death through speed and agility. The other is a behemoth so mammoth nothing dares challenge it. And of course, there are the sharks. These predators were around 100 million years before dinosaurs had ever roamed the earth. This is a tooth from a large shark that lived during this time during the age of mosasaurs swam in this ocean. It's from a shark called Kotaxorana mantelli, the Ginsu shark. And I called it that specifically because it's sliced and diced. The Ginsu is a giant shark reaching a length of 25 featuring. It dwarfs any modern great white. This shark was literally able to bite through bone. We know that because we find pieces of mosasaur that have literally been severed from the bodies, swallowed partially digested and then regurgitated again. To survive, mosasaur had to change its land-based behavior tearing out a place for itself at the very top of the food chain. But what allowed this creature to evolve into such a relentless killer? It's all in the bite. You'd probably be in shock after a bite like this. Hold up. It capped in on the port side, on the port side. Come back. We humans got lucky. We managed to miss out on the Mosasaur 95 million years ago. It is just a small lizard forced to flee into the ocean. Within 6 million years, it grows into one of the most successful predators of all time. But what made the Mosasaur such a monster killer? Millions of years of evolution created a perfect formula for the perfect killer. This is how you make an apex predator first and foremost breathing like whales. Mosasaurs can spend long hours submerged in the sea but they still have to come up for air and then there's food. Fish are nutritious, but they're fast and slippery. Thanks for watching.